Okay, so we're starting out in a Cosmo code lab and we're gonna go through some of the challenges. Uh, let's take a look at the first one. First challenge is to drive forward four. Uh, this is the very most basic one. So you go to your drive options here. We can do that. We can do four of these. One, two, three, four. Or to make the program shorter, we could do one of these and then change the quantity to four. That does the same thing. So let's take a look and see what that does. Okay, that looks like what we wanted. Let's take a look at the lab, see what the solution is, it matches. So we did a good job on that. The next challenge is to drive forward four, then sneeze. Uh, this is an extension of the previous one, so we already have the drive forward for. All we need to do is add the sneeze. It's in purple, so that's an animation. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to drag the sneeze icon here. Drive forward for and sneeze. Let's take a look and see if that matches what they have. All right, that matches. Answer number two, drive forward and sneeze. Let's go ahead and see how this looks in real life. Next challenge, drive in a square. Okay, if we're gonna drive in a square, let's get rid of the sneeze. We wanna drive forward, let's keep this. So if I'm gonna drive in a square, it tells me I'm gonna go forward, and I'm gonna take a left or a right turn, I'm gonna go forward, and then I'm gonna take another left or right turn, go forward, take another left or right turn. So this is gonna be the same as going forward four times. This is a left turn. Uh, let's do right turn. So forward four times, right turn. Let's go forward once more. And I would probably do another right turn. Then you can go forward once more. So if we go forward four times, take a right, take another right, go forward. We need to take another right. So follow this along in your head. I'm gonna go forward, then I'm gonna take a right. Then I'm going to take another right. Then I'm going to take another right. I'm going to go forward once more. And I'm going to take my final right. So that should put me in a circle. All right, let's try this out and see what it does. Looks good to me. Let's see if that matches sort of what they have here. So it looks like what he did is he went forward, he took a left, forward, left, forward, left, forward, left. So the answer to number three is the same as what it is we have. They just went left instead of right. Those are the first three challenges. Let's do one more of these guys and then we'll be done for the day. drive backward in a square. Okay, so that is gonna be pretty easy. Instead of driving forward in a square, we're gonna drive backwards in a square. So what we need to do is, let's do, swap these. So let's drive backwards. So let's, let's add a drive backwards. Let's do four of them. Let's get rid of this guy here. Oh. 
So now we got forward turn. Let's go backward turn. So we got backwards four turn. Backwards turn. Looks like we need a backwards turn. Backwards turn. I want to try to reuse this code block if they'll let me. There we go. Backwards turn. Backwards turn. I'm going to go backwards again. Backwards turn. Backwards turn. Backwards turn. We use the right turn again. Wish they made it easier to uh, reuse these turns. It might be easier just to grab one from the bottom here. So if I'm going to have turns, I need one, two, three, backwards, and then a final turn. Just check to make sure if that kind of matches what they have. Backwards turn, backwards turn, backwards turn, backwards turn. So same thing. They have four turns, but they just uh, increased the distance. They went back four each time on their distance. So uh, let's fix that and we'll get the same thing. So we'll make this four, make that four, and then we will make that four also. And let's see what this does. All right, looks good. So that was the first four. Let's take a break here. Come back with some more later. Thanks for watching so far. Bye.